Hello and welcome back to episode 5 of Capture the Flag Across Japan. We're a few hours into round 3, and with Scotty safely back in Tokyo Station, both teams have scored their near flags. Now, all eyes on me. I've captured Ben and Adam's second flag up here in Niigata, and all I need to do is get it back over the line without getting caught. That's gonna be tough, because Adam is right on my tail, heading towards me on the exact same line I'd need to take to get back to Tokyo Station. But with minutes to spare, I think I've cooked up a plan that can get me out. Okay, I think I've got it figured out. And it's so complicated that I'm not even sure I can explain it right. And I'm not even sure if I have this right. It's very complicated. So basically, there's one of two options. Either Adam gets off at Horasa Station to cut me off on the Shinkansen, um, knowing that I'm gonna... Oh, man. <laughs> can I even explain this? I might... This, this might need to be in VO. Hi there! It's Sam from the future with VO to explain my complicated but kind of awesome plan. Right now, I'm on a Shinkansen headed south. Adam is on the same Shinkansen line, but headed north. Now, I have two routes back over the midpoint. The first is that I get off here in Nagaoka and take a regional line to Juetsu over the line. The problem is, there's a 15 minute wait between when I can get off the train at Nagaoka and when I can get on the train to Joetsu, and in that time, Adam will arrive to Nagaoka to catch me. But here's the thing, and this is the especially complicated part. Adam's train will leave its last stop before Nagaoka, a station called Yurasa, at 11.44. But my train will leave from Nagaoka one minute later. That means if Adam stays on his train and heads to Nagaoka to try to stop me, I have one minute to realize what he's done and can decide to stay on my train and pass him right on the Shinkansen, taking me across the line scot-free. And if he gets off at Yurasa to try to prevent that, I can just do my first plan. Get off at Nagaoka and take the regional line to Joetsu. Basically, as far as I can tell, I found a no-lose scenario, no matter what Adam does. And as you're about to see, he's only figured out half of my plan. Okay, so uh, I'm almost certain that I've figured out Sam's plan. I think that he's gonna try to get to Joet, so right here. Um, but in order to do that, he's gonna have to go to Nagaoka first, and then he can leave at 12.01. I'm gonna get to Nagaoka at 11.54. Um, my guess, my guess is that he is going to try to use a tower in order to avoid getting caught. Uh, so I think I should buy a tower now so that I can uh, potentially slow it down and use the catch up. Tower deck, shuffle. Lightning tower. On the tens of each hour, your opponent must roll a die. If the number is one, they are tagged. Okay. So as I board my train, Adam has a mostly useless tower and only knows half my plan. I'm home free. After all, this plan took me like a half hour looking at maps and timetables to figure out. There's no way Adam can crack it in the next five minutes, right? Okay, wait a minute. I just realized he could jump me. He could jump me. He could continue past me. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 Okay, so Adam figured out the plan, but even still, he doesn't have any way to stop it, right? I'm like 70% sure that this plan is a guaranteed path to victory, but it's really complicated. So I'm worried I might be like misunderstanding something. I, I really don't think that he has a way to block me at this point. I know I'm gonna look like such an idiot if he does. If I keep going past Urasa, he can keep going and pass me. I need a tower. I need a tower. I need a tower. Shoot. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. All right, here we go. Shuffle. Tower. 
If opponents are texted trap in this area, they are frozen for 30 minutes. Opponents do not need to be informed of this tower's placement, but if someone says they placed a trap tower, it must be the truth. Trap tower. Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Either I'm about to look like the world's biggest idiot or a genius. We'll see. Okay, so what's happening is a little bit confusing, but let me try to walk you through it. Um, I am at Urasa Station. Sam is about to be at Nagaoka Station. Now, from Nagaoka, he has two ways across the midpoint. One is to connect on a regional line and go to Joetsu. Now, I can get to Nagaoka in time to catch him before he can do that. But if I continue to Nagaoka, he can stay on his train and just jump me on the track down to Urasa and then score that way. So the plan is this. I'm going to drop both the lightning tower, which I'll have to tell him about, and the track tower secretly at Urasa. Then I'll continue up. He'll think that he can just pass down through, but he can't. I'll be frozen, then he'll have three times that he might get struck by lightning, and I'll be able to go after him. <sighs> this is gonna rock. All right, Adam is pulling into Orasa now. So now he's gotta decide, does he stay on or get off? And I don't think either is the right option. All right, I'm at Orasa. I've just told them that I am placing down the lightning tower, but I am also placing down the trap tower. But Sam won't know that until I spring the trap. in Urasa Station. Kind of hope he continues on. I'll make a quicker run for me. But on the other hand, the other run will be on a nice small regional line, which I haven't been able to do yet. Ooh, he dropped a thing. Interesting. What is it gonna be? Oh, that's not too bad. So let's see if he gets off. Okay, so the timing of this, I mean, this is a matter of I mean, less than a minute. Sam is just now finding out that I am headed to Nagaoka, all right? That means I assume that he is saying, oh my gosh, I can jump at him. He thinks I'm an idiot. He's gonna jump me and go down to Urasa. But when he does that, I will trap him. has continued on. That means I am staying on this train. The thing is, the thing is, that town only has a one mile radius. There's actually no guarantee that I'm even within it on the tens of an hour. And even then, it's only a one in 10 chance. There he goes. There he goes, okay. That is what I thought. about to pass each other. Uh, for the sake of uh, him not nabbing me through the windows, I'm gonna go hide. We're about to cross each other. That's, Sam is, was on that train. And he believes, he believes that he's just, oh, an incredible move. But in seven minutes, he will be so sad. This is not good. I have to get out. Man, that sucks. That's like the one thing they could do. Oh. And now the next train here is not for an hour. And Adam's gonna be on it. Man, that was a lucky pull. And they got it yesterday too. Oh. 
<laughs> we got a baby. <laughs> oh, oh, it feels so good. <laughs> Let's absolutely go. Okay, I made it back to Tokyo Station with the flag untagged. Very happy about that. There's one thing I have to do. Celebratory drinking of the flag. Okay, I do not have enough coins even to get all the way out to our flag. I need 3,280 coins. Uh, so I either need to do a challenge or on go on defense. Uh, let me see where they're at. Sam looks like he's hurt. Adam's heading off Sam. Ben's back here with me in Tokyo Station. Okay, so what are you gonna do, Ben? That's going to dictate a lot of what I do. All right, well, I made it back to Tokyo Station like three minutes after Scotty. Well, well played, uh, honestly, you deserve that flag. That was crazy. Now that I've made it back to Tokyo Station, the idea is that I'm gonna go back on offense um, and finish the challenge that I started before I got tagged, which is the Mario items one. Okay, so what happened next is kind of boring and also kind of complicated, so we're just gonna fast forward a bit. Basically, Scotty ran into Ben at the train station and decided to follow him. I can just follow you, right? That led Ben to take a train back into his own territory to get away from Scotty, so with nothing else to do, Scotty decided to do a challenge. He pulled Meet Your Local Yurichawa, which are these little city mascots that are all over Japan, and headed to Akihabara, Tokyo's anime capital, to look for one. Despite going to multiple stores, he was not successful. Do you have Yuruchara? No, I am. No. <laughs> okay, Sorry. thank you. Do you have Yuruchara? No. Okay. Arigatou gozaimasu. Sumimasan. Uh, do you have uh, Yuruchara? Yuruchara? Yeah. Oh, Yuruchara. Unto. Any. Ah, no. No? No. Okay. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Oh, crap. Meanwhile, Ben headed back towards offensive territory to earn coins to make a run for the middle flag, but on his way, decided to stop to see if he could catch Scotty. Okay, you know what? Scotty is like right at this station that I'm about to go through. So I think I'm just gonna pop out and try and get him on my way. Scotty got freaked out and started running away, deciding to veto his challenge, figuring he could wait out his jail period while he evaded Ben. If I'm gonna hike, I may as well hike while I'm in a veto period. All right, I'm declaring a veto. But Ben took one look at this and figured he wouldn't be able to find Scotty here anyways. Oh, I'm never gonna find Scotty here. Okay, this is, this is just a waste of time. So he got on a train and headed into enemy territory to knock out his challenge. While Ben made his way to Shimbashi Station to look for Mario Kart items, Scotty ran out his veto clock and went on the hunt for Ben. Okay, it looks like Ben got off at the Shimbashi Station, so I'm thinking he's probably out doing a challenge right now. Uh, if you are, Ben, I can't wait to take those coins from you. Oh, just in time. Okay, I made it to Shimbashi. All I have to do is find a grocery store, get a mushroom, a banana, and shells. Seemingly, there's a grocery store like in or like right outside of the station. So I'm trying to figure out how to get there, knock this out as quickly as possible. All right, okay. Banana, that's one down. Okay, at Tokyo Station. All right, Ben, where you at? He seems still at the station. No, okay. It's a heck train do I need to get on? Mushrooms? Something with a shell. Oh wait. 
If I pay for these in cash and they get a coin back, then I'll have all three. Banana, mushrooms, and a coin. That is challenging. Now, I have enough points to get the second one, so I'm gonna make the line back to the field station. Then, the other But where's Ben? Still there. I think, oh, nope. Where'd you go, Ben? Oh, you're back here. Hi. Let's go find you. Where are you going? All right, I just got to transfer to platform four, and then I've got two trains headed to flag number two. I won't have enough to get back, so I'll have to do another challenge along the way, but I just want to get going. Where are you? You are this way. Do I see Scotty? Yeah, Scotty's over there. Well, let's not let him see where we're going. Here we go. Oh, he's gone. Where'd he go? Uh, he headed back north. That's annoying. Well, I'm stuck here, and it's noon. So, might as well see if I'm tagged. Well, I'm not tagged at least, but uh, I'm gonna be stuck here for uh, quite a while more. Damn. It's kind of incredible. Both yesterday and today, they pulled like the best in power. Okay, here we go. I bought myself 10 more minutes. All right, I'm trying to figure out next steps. To be honest, I don't know if I have many options at this point, but there are very few trains from here, and Adam can get on most of them. We'll see. Okay, so here's the best plan I was able to come up with. There's a southbound Shinkansen headed through here soon. Adam is probably going to get on it at 1247, because if he doesn't, I could get on it and head south over the midpoint. But at the same minute Adam would get on that train, there's a slow regional line heading north to Nagaoka, the station where Adam is now. When Adam gets on the Shinkansen, I'll be on that and ride it up towards Nagaoka. He'll be able to beat me there by taking a Shinkansen, but when he does, I can probably just turn back around on the regional line. Essentially, by going on this regional line, I can force him to ping pong back and forth in the Shinkansen, at worst wasting his time, and at best, getting him to slip up and let me through. All right, save another 10 minutes. Of all the places to get frozen at, I like this one. It's a really cool town. See, there's like a little ski hill over there. You can see some snow left over in the distance over there. Very cool. Time for another roll. All right. We are safe once again. Nice. All right, I'm freed from the freeze, and I have about 15 minutes until the train I want to take out of here. So I'm going to just go check out the outside for a second. When do you ever get to be in the middle of the mountains in Japan? This is cool. Look at those mountains. Cool. Look at, look at just how elevated these rails are and how big of a setup that is. Kind of incredible that they have that for like hundreds of miles across the country, but that's how they make the trains go vroom. This house has like a lovely little garden right next to the massive train station. I wish I had more time to explore because this place is awesome, but gotta get on that train. Try to see if I can fake Adam out and waste a little bit more of his time. Time for another roll. Oh, safe still, wow. I'm getting lucky with these. That makes sense. So he's taking a regional line north. 
not shocking, I guess. But he's trapped over here. Oh, f oh no. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Here's what just happened. <laughs> okay, so I just messed up. Basically, the tracker was being a little weird, and it looked like Adam didn't get on the Shinkansen headed south. Meaning, I thought I had the chance to get off the regional train at the first stop and run the two miles back to the Shinkansen station just in time to catch it and return the flag. The problem is, as you just saw, it turns out Adam did get on the Shinkansen, meaning I'm now stuck at this station whose only trains go back to Yurasa, where Adam is about to arrive, or will go stop at Yurasa, again, where Adam is about to be, before getting to me. Basically, I'm now just about completely trapped. So, anyway, that was, that was a long shot anyway, but um, I guess that means that I'm in full <laughs> let's waste Adam's time mode. Look at that. So it seems as though he's just kind of hanging out at a place called Yairo Station. I mean, I could walk there if he really is there. He could get on a train headed back here in 11 minutes. Okay. Okay. Then this one goes up 152. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Yeah. Hang out at Yairo. No worries. Hang out at Yairo. I'll hang out here. Then, you, you won't take a train over here. That'd be, that'd be stupid of you at 115, but I'll wait here and see if you do. But if you don't, there are no more trains at that station for a half an hour. I'll just run there. Fine. Go with me. Go with me, dude. Let's see. What's the plan, Sam? You want to go straight for me? You totally can. But it's probably not your best move. But what is your best move, my man? What is your best move, man? Because if you stay there, I'm coming for you. You're screwed. You're screwed is what I'm saying. What's up? Hey, Scotty. Um, <laughs> I just did a small gamble that the, and the tracker led me wrong, um, which is fine. It was, a, it was a real long shot anyways. Good news is it is very picturesque here. There's like snow-capped mountains in the background. Oh my God. Bad news is, yeah, bad news is I kind of just want to go for a hike and <laughs> waste Adam's time, but it is raining. Yeah, sounds like uh, you all go on an adventure. Don't get caught. Yeah. I mean, I, that's your only right now. Just don't get caught. Yeah, pretty much. I think we're both just trying to waste time, pretty much. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Bye. Have fun. All right. This is now Project Waste Adam's Time. Looks like stay into me. All right. It's a three kilometer run. Let's go for it. Man, this would be much better if I had a raincoat. <laughs> if I had a raincoat or it wasn't raining, I would just walk into eternity, but I don't want to give myself hypothermia because it is kind of cold out. That would not be a viable winning strategy. <laughs> I want to get there with a little bit of margin because I'm assuming he's got a tower waiting for me. Oh, you know what? I think I have the budget. Might as well pull a tower and mess with Adam. Yeah, I have 870. Let's pull a tower and drop it. That way it won't get in my budget at least. Okay. Jail Tower. Jail Tower. Opponents may only leave this area after rolling doubles. 
they may only roll a die every five minutes. Okay, well, that was about what I expected. I have to roll doubles. Look at these gardens. These are delightful. This is genuinely delightful. Wait a minute. I misread the card. The card does not say I can't move in the area. It just says I can't leave the area. I can move in the area all I want. Oh, Sam, you're f all right, Adam's at the other side of the station. All right, this game is about to just purely turn into hide and seek. The train station's up there. Yeah, it's gotta be this. Where is he? I just spotted him. He was on that bridge. Where is he? Not in there. Where is he? Shows him right up there. Shows him right up there. Where would that be? This little bridge has come in clutch. What the hell? He must be hiding. He can't get out, he can't get on the train. Oh, wait, was that him? Is that a car? No, nah, I think that was a car. I, I mean, the tracker makes it look like he's just like behind this thing. All right, he's gonna come running right there in a little bit. There he is. Oh, he was under the tracks. Oh, all right. That is Sam Denby. Did you enjoy your run? Yeah, it was uh, really annoying. I don't know why you did that. Why, what do you mean? Why, why did you run? Because if I hadn't run, you could have gotten on a train going north. There was, but there was only one train, the one that you could have taken. I am now realizing that. <laughs> I guess that one did go north. Yeah. So it would have gone through my station. Yeah. Well, this was fun though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that train would have left from that station, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, give me the flag. Oh. Thank you. What are you doing, Ben? What are you doing? Okay, so I need to figure out how to intercept Ben. I think Shinjuku is the place to go. Yep. Yep, bingo. Okay, Shinjuku. All right, made it to Shinjuku. It seems like they're not after me yet, which is great. Now, I've got about 15 minutes until my next train, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my next challenge, and I won't be able to do it on the train, but I'll be able to strategize, figure out a way to do it as quickly as possible when I get um, to the second flag. Okay, we're doing another awkward card shuffle. Oop. And we're gonna pull the top one. Clean up three pieces of litter. Each piece of litter must be equal to at least the width or volume of a quarter. Each piece of litter you collect must be at least 10 feet apart from any other piece of litter you collect. Clean up three pieces of litter. That, <laughs> that might be hard because uh, this country is so dang clean, but uh, mostly it should be not too bad to do. Um, 
when I get to the second flag. So that should be pretty quick. I'm not too worried about that. I'm pretty happy. All right, I made it on the train. We're headed for flag number two. Oh, you. Goodbye, Greater you. Tokyo Area. Uh -huh. Finally. Oh, you. Okay, he is heading out. I gotta get on the next train. Scotty is coming after me, and he's gonna arrive before I'll be able to get the flag back onto a train. So I don't really have an escape route yet. But what I can do is I can keep doing challenges while I evade Scotty and then buy towers until I've made the area so inhospitable that I'll have a way to get on a train and get out. Not the greatest plan, but kind of my only option at this point. I thought I was gonna have more margin, but yeah, he caught up. <sighs> it is absolutely gorgeous here. Spectacular. See, uh, this is the train that you could have taken, Adam. Yeah, I could have taken that. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about that one. You wouldn't have been able to experience, I mean, this countryside, of all the places that you could have froze me, I'm very grateful you froze me here. Yeah, you're welcome. How did you feel about my little trap there? Were you feeling really good when you passed me on the Shinkansen? I was feeling, I was feeling pretty good. I was so excited when I realized what I could do. It was such a guaranteed path to victory with such a tiny, tiny way to close it down. Oh yeah. That's yeah, so annoying. Yeah. Okay, so I am actually realizing I can't leave this area until I roll doubles. It's definitely been five minutes. When is the train that we need to get on from here? Like 2.30, so if you don't get it, okay. that is like right, unbelievably bad luck. That'd be bad. Oh, oh. all right, another five minutes. I mean, I have another, I guess, seven tries? Yes. But I mean... It's possible. It's, it's possible. <laughs> that would suck. All right, um, you get another roll. All right, trying again. Hey! Congrats. All right, I can now leave the area. I only had six more tries. Choo-choo. <laughs> Oh, we gotta press the button. This is such a nice train for like overall. Imagine if yeah. Just imagine if trains. I know. Yeah. I, I, it, I mean, truly imagine if trains. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, here's the plan. I'm getting off at this stop. We're gonna try and do our challenge as quickly as possible. We're gonna buy a tower and we're gonna go from there. I don't know if this is gonna work. This feels kind of like a crazy plan, but I've got nothing better. So let's just see if this works. Uh oh, Japan, I need you to not be so clean right now. Oh my God, it's immaculate. I'm not seeing a single piece of trench. Done. Oh. Trash number one. Looks like it's doing a challenge. That's my best guess. I thought he would jump back on the train, but maybe it's the thing. Oh, trash number two. If I can. Trash number two. This is trash number three. Okay. Let's buy a tower. Let's 
by a tower. They're sticky. I spilled a lot of coffee in my bag yesterday, and so my towers are kind of sticky, but... I'm gonna pull the top one. Mud Tower. Mud Tower. All opponents must walk sideways. Okay, this one's not terrible. I'm just gonna throw it down right now, because I might as well. Because um, it's got a big radius and it's gonna slow Scotty down a lot. Great. Okay, I'm gonna let him know. A mud tower. All opponents must walk sideways. Oh my god, okay. That's gonna kill me. My plan is to drop a tower as well, but from the train as I go by him. So I'm gonna draw a tower right now. I'm gonna go for this one. Pizza tower, yes! Pizza tower. Opponents may only move in this area while holding pizza. That's amazing. That is hands down the best draw I could have made. Okay. That's so good. Okay, so Scotty's gonna be here before the next train that gets me closer to the flag. The flag's like two miles away, so I'm gonna have to walk because if I wait around here to take that train, he's just gonna get me. So, since Scotty can only walk sideways, if I walk to the flag, he's gonna have a hard time keeping up, but we're gonna pull our next uh, challenge and <sighs> hope it's a good one. Spend exactly 940 yen. You must pay in cash. If you go over this amount, you must start over. You may not use a tip or offer to pay more or less than an item's usual value. You may not buy anything by weight or volume. Spend exactly 940 yen. Oh, we're slipping. This doesn't get us a ton, but it should be pretty easy. Um, and also, I desperately need food, so we can do this on the way. But we just gotta start making our way towards the flag. So we're going on a little adventure. <laughs> Okay, I'm placing it there at the intersection. I think that covers the most uh, rail stations. I'm gonna drop it when I actually go by, but that will really screw him up. But also, I gotta walk sideways to go catch him. Hopefully he doesn't already have pizza. With Scotty hot on his tail, Ben managed to spend exactly 940 yen at this vending machine, spent those coins on another tower, and began to make his way towards the flag. But well before he could get there, Scotty arrived in Kofu and threw down the pizza tower. That meant Ben had to stop whatever he was doing and go directly to the nearest place where he could buy pizza, which unfortunately for him, was right back near Kofu Station. So now it's a race. Can Ben buy a slice of pizza at this pizza place and safely reroute back to the flag, or is Scotty gonna manage to tag him while only being able to walk sideways? This is really silly. I think I do wanna go after him because he has to find pizza. But once he finds pizza, he can do whatever he wants. I wonder if I throw down another tower. I have the money. Let's do that. Okay. What if I've got Jail Tower? Jail Tower. Opponents may only leave this area after rolling doubles. They may only roll a die every five minutes. Okay, cool. That's great. That will work. And we're just gonna drop that right now. Okay, now I just chase him very, very slowly. Here I come, Ben. Looks like Adam is nervously sending strategy to Ben right now. I'm, I'm, I'm putting in a takeout order for pizza at, the, at, at, at a, at a. <laughs> really? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, it seems like, regardless, Scotty was closing in on Ben. Yeah, but he can only walk sideways. Yeah, but, but Ben has to go get pizza. We'll see. So 
いませんはい。Figured out that it actually was really smart for me to run after Sam and that、uh, something bad could have happened if I didn't do that. And I will explain why it was actually really smart of me、uh, on the podcast. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna force the audio editor to cut that out or something. It will stay I'm, in. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be the、um, autocrat. Manny, it stays in.、No. And in addition to these boys arguing, Nebula has a lot more to offer.、Uh, like lots of great original series from your favorite creators. I mean, we put up whole documentaries on there. Yeah.、Um, the first project we ever worked on together,、uh, Alaska's Silent Summer. Very, very different. Very different. Very depressing. But it's on Nebula. But depressing in a good way. It's very, it's I'm very proud of it. Yeah.、Um, uh, Brian from Real Engineering, our season one and four guest, has a series called Battle for Britain that's great.、Uh, Joseph from、uh, Real Life Lore was our season two guest. He has this series、uh, called Modern Conflicts that people are totally obsessed with.、Um, there's so much good stuff on there, and it's like more jam packed with quality content than any other streaming service I personally pay for. So I say it's Totally worth the price of subscription. Yeah, really good value for money. And, and a lot of, in my opinion, why it's good is because it was founded and continues to be run and owned by creators. So, you know, a lot of the idea was we thought that creators themselves, the people making the content, would have a better understanding of how to make a platform that both,、uh, you know, incentivize the things you want to incentivize for creators to make good content and also,、um, you know, creating an ecosystem that is a better viewing experience for the audience. Well, us creators came together and we were like, How do we make it better? And the answer was basically two things. We're going to create a better experience for the audience through everything we've kind of just mentioned. By the way, all of this is ad and sponsorship free. There are no ads or sponsorships on Nebula.、Um, so it's just like the viewing experience itself, super simple and super good. But it's also you know, a better deal for the creators. And a lot of that is about the fact that when you sign up using our link, nebula.tv slash jetlag, we get a portion of your subscription fee for as long as you stay subscribed, which means we have stable, recurring monthly revenue that we can rely on. On to reinvest in the show and make it bigger and better and cooler and more frequently and everything. If you use our link, you'll actually get $20 off an annual subscription, which makes it come out to like 
two and a half dollars a month, I think, which uh, is really not a lot to pay for jet lag early by itself, but then it comes with the entire rest of the streaming site. So very good deal for you, very good, good deal for the creators. Um, so sign up at nebula.tv slash jet lag and thank you in advance for your support. Bye.